Okay, it's been about five minutes and our vegetables are nice and softened. So what we're gonna do now is add the uh, bouillon or the uh, three cups of chicken broth. I really prefer chicken base, better than bouillon by the way. It's a fabulous brand of chicken base if you haven't tried it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the chicken broth. Of course, homemade is even better, but most people don't have time to do that. Certainly if you did that, that would be a great thing to have. We also can add in a quarter cup of parsley and a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. We're gonna bring this to a boil. And once this is boiled, we are gonna add it to our, to our stuffing. I think you're really gonna enjoy the stuffing. It's a very classic recipe, uh, but it is delicious and I'm sure your family's gonna like it. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the stuffing. Let me just grab some gloves here. Oops. So we're gonna bring this over and add it into our stuffing mixture. And we're gonna go ahead and stir this up. Mmm, smells delicious. Makes me think of Thanksgiving for sure. I don't usually make stuffing and gravy are the two things that probably my husband would complain about not getting enough. But certainly Thanksgiving, we no hor no hold barred. Okay, so we got that mixed up pretty good. The last thing we're gonna do is add a couple of beaten eggs to the mixture. And we'll give that another stir. Okay, and finally we're gonna put it into our pan here. So this makes quite a bit of stuffing, so you know, if you do have a larger crowd, by all means, this will do the job. So we'll put our stuffing in there loosely. I've already preheated our oven to 325 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and put it in there uh, for 40 minutes to begin with. So after 40 minutes, we'll take a look and we have one more addition.